Hello, this is Adele Yunk from Northfield Dog Training in Ann Arbor, Michigan, bringing you a video on how to use a platform to teach heel position. Just started experimenting this with this with my nine-week-old Border Terrier Jag. I first introduced him to getting on a platform the night before this was taken, and we practiced a little bit more getting on it sideways first before this doing this exercise with him. So just doing a little cookie toss behind him to get him off and then showing him how to get back on. I'm kneeling down next to him so I don't tower over him as much because he is so little and I'm so tall. But I'm trying to keep my left leg vertical so that it's giving him something of a picture that he'll see when I'm actually standing up. him stay reasonably straight. This is still quite large for him. It's probably the size he'll need when he's about full grown. But I like to start with a platform that's plenty big enough so that it's easy for them to get up and learn to sit on it without it being something that they fall off frequently. But he literally just learned to sit on it earlier this morning that this was taken. That's why he's not very good at it yet. So I'm just letting him figure it out. I'm not totally bribing him into doing it. He came with very nice focused attention. This was only his second morning home with me. So here I'm helping him since he kind of got stuck. When I'm throwing the cookies with a puppy this age, I do throw them fairly slowly so that they can crack my hand and chase them. As they get older and better at it, I throw them a little farther. One of the nice things about videoing with the iPad is I can look forward and kind of use it like a mirror. I'm finishing up here this session with just a little bit of field position attention. I'm just doing voluntary attention there. This is the second time we're working on this. He's had a fair bit more work on getting up on the platform for various things. You can see he's a whole lot more coordinated, a whole lot more confident at it, and this time I'm just standing up. It seems to be coping just fine. With it. I realized in watching this back that it probably would have been good to throw a few more of them behind him to his left to encourage him to turn left, which he's tended to leave his fanny out just a little bit. And my thought is if I'd thrown it to the left a little bit more, it would just kind of encourage the, the rear to maybe come in a little bit. And I'm wearing no shoes because he's discovered how to untie them and chew on my shoelaces. I love how fast he's getting up and sitting. It's just kind of natural. He's got a lot of confidence about what the platform is for now. Although we're also working on stacking on it, but I'm kneeling down and have him perpendicular in front of me. And you can see it's a little wide, so he still was able to sit crooked, even without falling off, but it's okay. I just like how well he's figuring out just to hop up there and sit. So there he caught himself and he's about to fall off. And I'm feeding him with his head out a little bit to kind of encourage that. Uh, get the shoulders out just a little bit more. That one is beautiful. Nice and confident, nice and straight. I can't tell on the video, but I think I was just having my hand hang down at my normal normal height rather than break down in his face. Here I turned it sideways because I realized it could probably sit across the width of it. 
and uh, just gave him a little less space. Probably coming through my legs, I didn't get him anything. And then he figured out to get up. He sat nice and square, nice and straight. It was really good. I think sometimes he comes forward and looks forward looking at the iPad and seeing himself in there. Nice session. Really pleased with him.